Hi everyone! Happy New Year! It's been a, about a week since I did any new videos and some questions have come in so I wanted to address uh, a couple of points in various videos. So in a previous video I discussed HitFinder and how I use HitFinder to find work when it's slow. Aside from using HitFinder, I also actually just use the Turk dashboard itself or the, the Hits dashboard to find work. So generally, if I go in first thing in the morning and I look at HitFinder and it looks a bit slow, which it has been lately, which isn't surprising because a lot of the colleges um, are out for the holiday break. So what I usually do is I start by sorting the hits by the most number of hits. So what I'm essentially looking for is batches that I can do. Uh, so I'm going to be looking again, as I discussed in the hit finder, I'm using plugins that help me understand how these various requesters have performed over time. So I'm going to be looking for requesters that are green, green and yellow and gray potentially to, because those are our new requesters. At first, I'm going to avoid any yellow and reds and red reds, but eventually I do get to them. Again, it's just a matter of what is your risk level, you know, how well, willing are you to take risks and get and potentially not be paid for the work and get rejections. So I start by sorting by the most hits and I simply just go down and I look and see so in this case, the first, this what type of Instagram account is this? You know, sometimes I just expand it and look and see just the general description, what the time allotted is. I'm going to be looking at, uh, I also look at this pop-up which says activity level, hit approval rating, and the average payment review time. So especially for me, this is especially relevant for the gray requesters because I want to see what their average payment time is and their hit approval rate thus far. Average payment time is important to me, not just because I want to get paid quickly, but also because for a new requester, I don't want to do, say, a handful of hits as a test and then wait 30 days for that requester to then approve it. It just it doesn't make sense. So for new requesters, I'm looking for quick approval, even if I'm just going to sort of dip my toes in and do a handful of them to see if I if I understand it and if I get approved. Uh, so I'm looking at that. I'm looking at, at Turk Review and then here I'm looking at Turk Opticon. And again, my analysis is exactly the same as it is with HitFinder. I'm looking at the various categories. I'm looking to see what they have, how many reviews they have, and then what their you know, what their average uh, number rating is. And in this case, I'm looking, I see pay is about, you know, a, is about half, about 50%. Fast looks good and fair looks good on three reviews. So this is something I might take a, a chance on, right? Because they seem to have a pretty quick turnaround time. Their, uh, although their pay is low, given the landscape of what's available, I'm probably gonna go for it. Uh, and then they're pretty fast. Again, we discussed that and fair. I'm also you know, pretty interested in, in ones that are fair. Communicative in this case is a zero. So it looks like it had, you, in Turk Opticon, you can't, uh, you cannot rate if you didn't actually reach out to them, which is good. So in this case, my understanding is the people re, re, uh, re, writing reviews, excuse me, didn't actually communicate, so they can't rate that. Okay, so again, I simply am just going to go down the line. You know, I'm looking to see if anything catches my eye that I might want to look at. If it, you know, and that's my first look. Then I sort by reward to see what the high reward stuff that's here and uh, look and see again you can with the question marks here you can see like in this case this Robert Overstreet I've actually accepted one and it's in my queue right now um, so I know that I've already accepted it so I won't be looking at that this Susan Sue I've abandoned two of hers at some point or another so there's got to be a reason for that um, and this one, uh, Eric Cooks, I know, in fact, this one returned and abandoned. Um, he does not pay for screeners. So I know in, in this case, uh, I've tried to do his and I've not qualified. So again, as you, you know, you go, you can, 
you can start using this data to help you figure out what you've done, what you haven't done. Um, but again, so with the reward at the highest, I look up and I look around and if there's not a lot of data, which in this case there's not, these are gray, it's a high number, not a lot of qualifications, short time frame. I'm thinking to myself, this probably isn't for me, but I go ahead and I hit the preview button and I'm going to look in, uh, you see this little uh, warning sign, caution sign or whatever. So you open that up and you see we have five underpaid returns and three extraordinary measure warnings. And it's essentially just what I thought. It, it, the feedback is it's pain to get to, to extract the images, 20 huge pages of transcribing to a spreadsheet hit expires in an hour and possible. So my initial thoughts are, are pretty right on and this just these two continue to go through that. So I'm going to avoid that because it just it's impossible to do. So similarly, I'm going to go through, I'm going to look and see which ones might look interesting that I haven't done before. And then uh, another way I'm going to look is I'm going to go through uh, to the create it and go to see what's just been created. Sometimes this can be a little way to go around hit finder um, because it's going to show up here just like a smidge before it's going to show up in hit finder because hit finder cycles. So sometimes you can grab uh, something that way, but you'd really have to sit there and be like refresh, refresh, refresh in order to continually get stuff. But if it's really slow, you know, I'll, I'll pop over and onto the sorted by creative here and there, a uh, created here and there to see. So that's essentially how I find my work either this way or through hit finder. Um, there's also forums that you can go on to. Um, I'll do another video on some of the forums that I've used over time. And then I'm also going to do another video on qualifications, how I find them, um, you know, both using forums as well as using the tool itself. Uh, so I will do that. As always, if you have questions, please let me know. Um, I'm going to be going back through some of my old videos and updating them using the new um, site in the view so that everything looks correct in the video. So keep an eye out for that. As always, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Thanks.